In this video, we'll be talking about powers of trig functions. Now, the notation on this, if we were to put our exponents immediately following the argument on our trig function, just like this, this would mean that the angle measure is squared. Because remember that an exponent applies to what directly is next to it. In other words, um, sine 30 squared would mean the sine of 900. Now this notation isn't seen very often. Rarely do we ever have a need to square or um, take the argument to a power. So to square the sine of theta, you would write parentheses around the entire sine theta and then put your exponent or you would write sine squared theta. Now this is the notation that is usually used. Um, but if you want to change this notation and go ahead and put the parentheses around the entire sine theta or the entire trig function and its argument, you may do so if it helps you understand it better. So let's do an example. We're asked to evaluate the sine cubed of negative 60 degrees. This means that we need to find the sine of negative 60 and then raise that to the third power. Now, negative 60, we need to uh, rotate that clockwise. And 60 is our reference angle. So there is a negative 60. And then put our reference sides in there. The side opposite the 60 is a root 3. The side adjacent would be 1. And then the hypotenuse is 2. And um, the root 3 is a negative. And so there's our reference triangle that we'll use. The sine is defined as opposite over hypotenuse. So the negative root 3 over 2. Now that needs to get cubed. This is the same as a negative root 3 over 2 times a negative root 3 over 2 times a negative root 3 over 2. So I have a negative answer. And then I root 3 times root 3 is 3. And then I still have another radical. So that's a 3 radical 3 over, and then 2 cubed is 8. Let's do another one. Oops. This one we are asked to square the cotangent of 330. So we first want to find the cotangent of 330. 330 is 30 degrees short of a full rotation. Um, put our side measures in for this special triangle. Side opposite to 30 is 1. Then a root 3. And then a 2. And then um, side down is a negative. Now, tangent is opposite over adjacent, so cotangent is the reciprocal of that, which means it's a root 3 over negative 1. And then I want to square that. So I'll just get 3.
And our last example. Um, we have cosecant squared of a negative 405 minus tangent squared of 45. Right, I need to add 360 This is the same as a negative 45. So our reference triangle is in quadrant 4. 45 degrees, 1, 1, root 2. This one's negative. And then for this one, let's go ahead and draw the reference triangle there for that positive 45, so we have 1, 1, root 2. Now cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So if I find the sine here, I have opposite over hypotenuse. So negative 1 over root 2. So if the sine is a negative 1 over root 2, then the cosecant will be a negative root 2 over 1. And then I need to square that. So negative root 2 over 1 squared. Subtract, and then for this one, the tangent, which is 1, and then I need to square that as well. When I square a negative root 2, I get 2. When I square 1, I get 1. And so I get 1 as the value. 